Hi everybody. Today is our day eight, the eighth day. Yesterday we went for some uh, weighing in Ayala and uh, Mike lost 6.5 kilos. That's approximately 40.44 pounds. That's really good. What's not so good is that he was feeling uh, not so well as of late. Now there is different theories about this, what it could be. Uh, my guess is that he is from intoxicating. So to have a nice treat for today, for my family and for Mike, also to celebrate somehow the, the first uh, pounds that have tumbled. And to help him with his detox, I thought to make a little experiment today. So as you can see, I have some fresh supplies. This is this morning's harvest of unripe papaya from the garden. You can see it's quite a little pile. <laughs> then what I have in here is fresh coconut water. What basically what I do is I get a whole nut from one of the street vendors and whatever is inside that's what I get and that's how I got, lucky got, this morning this. Now I'm going to come closer. Now, I don't know what this looks like to you, but what it is, is fresh coconut meat from the nut, from the fruit itself. Now this stuff is so fresh, it's somewhere between solid and liquid and has almost a gel-like consistency. Now, and this is really just a thesis, so I'm not going to put that to a test. I heard somewhere that when you have um, raw fruit and vegetables that are that have a uh, consistent like gelatin, they help promote the detoxification simply by passing through your digestive tract when you absorb them and attracting all the to toxins that your liver is trying to get rid of and to make uh, to, to, to pass through the system. So those toxins, they basically hitch a piggyback right with, with this gelatin consistency of the fruit and vegetable and are easily being carried out of the system. So this is not exactly aloe vera, for instance, which is one of the samples. Uh, I have some aloe in the garden, but I'm not quite sure if it's edible. So uh, let's try it, shall we? And to make this whole thing tasty, a nice, juicy, sweet, ripe pineapple to go with it. So, pina colada, anyone? So, what we got here is my nice, tasty pineapple after getting rid of the skin and all the itchy parts. Now, some will say to remove the middle part, which you see here on top, because it's harder than the, the flesh of the fruit. See this, this, this part here? Personally, I like it just as much as I like the rest of the fruit and for the juice it really doesn't make a bit of a difference, the more the merrier. So what I'm going to do is with the pineapple, I'm going to juice it while the meat is going in the blender and we'll see how it goes. So, the pineapple is juiced, it's in here, a lovely shade of yellow and so aromatic. And now to my favorite part, blending. I don't know about you guys, but I have a love affair with my blender. So, the base is the meat. A spoon for that. Uh, I'm going to add some of the coconut water for the liquid, to add some more liquid. And let's see what we can do about consistency. Some more of the pineapple juice to come out of the juicer. 
I always leave a little cup to, to catch up with the rest of it. Let's add a fresh pineapple juice. Ain't that a beauty? Mmm. Foam and everything. Maybe the coconut water. Stretch the whole thing. That should be enough. Pina colada. Let's hope it's good. Bye.